All right, guys. About the only way we're going to get this report done this week is for you guys to join me in another little waltz across part of Texas. My name is Shannon, and this is the Texas Fly Fishing Report. It is May 14th, 2021. And guess what? The mask mandate has been lifted. If you have been vaccinated two times, you don't have to wear a mask anymore. Although, you got to go by the rules of the establishment here. At least I do in Texas. Anyway, so we're waltzing across part of Texas today. I'm going from North Texas, DFW, down to Houston, or as I could like to call it, H-Town. And we're going from uh, floods, flooding rivers, and flooded lakes down to uh, Houston, where there's probably floods, <laughs> flooding rivers, and lakes as well. So just bear with me, guys. Um, we're going from uh, what I call large ball to small ball. So no boat bringing a kayak and uh, hit some ponds and just see what we can do to, to fill in the time waiting for this water to recede. Texas in general, you know, has been taking it really hard with the, uh, the rain and the flooding. And so uh, it's pretty, uh, pretty bad. Uh, you know, the, the dams are open. If you got dam action, it's almost, there's actually two wide open right now. So you've got to uh, keep that in mind and be safe. Let those rivers, uh, dams get shut down, and then the fishing will be on like Donkey Kong. But anyway, I did go out last week, last Friday, a week ago today, with the, my uh, my guru, JH, and he skipped work. Can you believe that? Amazing, amazing. And so he skipped work, and all we did was walk in and wait. We're going to cut away and show you some of the walk and wait action. And that's all you can do. You know, I try to go from hyper local stories about uh, fishing, fly fishing right here that I do, all the way to the big picture, which is the scroll at the very end of this video. So stick with me or fast forward. But anyway, locally, the lake is so high, Ray Roberts, where I guide for carp, um, that we skipped the skiff and walked in and that's about the only thing you can do right now because it is so high now the dam is open they're bringing it down and then uh, but we're expecting more rain so i don't know what to tell you guys it's a it's a it's a <laughs> it's the best of times and the worst of times we always need rain but uh now uh the timing of it and i'd say our calendar with the cool fronts that have come through in may we're about a month behind on the calendar. So really this is more like April. And I fully expect to uh, find, and we did find out out there in the lake actually, Ray Roberts, and a foot of water found two pound bass. So didn't catch any because they were super spooky, but we don't know what they were doing, but they were uh, super shallow and very spawn-like. Of course, Joel, uh, J.H., I'm sorry, I don't want to give away, get him in trouble for skipping work. But um, anyway, he, uh, even caught a gar out there. There's more gar than there were uh, carp on this trip, so it's kind of wacky. Uh, a little short, two or three hours. And he stuck three carp and two gar, and it was just when you when you stick one of these gar, it's just kind of a party on kind of thing. But uh, anyway, that's what's going on hyper local. If you extend out, it's like I said, a lot of flooding in Texas, a lot of rivers blown out, a lot of lakes blown out. Let's go to the Texas Gulf Coast. Over there, the tides have been high from what I've heard. The winds have been annoying, to say the least. The guys are really frustrated over there as well. But um, their odds are always better because uh, of the way salt water in the Texas Gulf Coast is set up. So keep that in mind. Okie dokie. Hopefully you saw some of that video that I cut away to. Um, don't forget to check out my website, www.texasflycaster.com when you get a chance. Also, I'm still selling gobs and gobs of my fly line mats for guys to use in rafts, kayaks, everything, canoes, and skiffs. So I've sold roughly, I don't know, I've sold every state on the West Coast a fly line mat. There's one in every state on the West Coast. And except for one or two, like Rhode Island on the East Coast, and probably, uh, New Hampshire. They got a coast on New Hampshire? I don't know. I've been there, but I don't know. Anyway, there's a couple of little states that haven't bought a fly line uh, mat on the East Coast, 
but otherwise I'll go to Florida and I just shipped one off last week to Maine. Check out those fly line mats. Here's a link to that kind of up there in the top. It's a direct link. I want you to take a look at these mats. Um, that's one of the ways, the primary way right now that I make money. Also, which everybody needs to have a little money to put gas in the car. It's so expensive now. Uh, also, I'm a fly fishing guide. So guys, if you're in North Texas and you want to catch carp off a technical polling skip, I'm your guy. I'm the only guy that can do this for you. Yeah, a lot of guys can do it a lot of different ways, but I like doing it this way. You know, it's, the visual is just unbelievable, overwhelming. In this kind of situation, you're going to have, I don't know, 50, 100 shots, between 50 and 100 shots of carp. So if you don't catch one, that's on you, man. I mean, really, it is. So thanks for watching, guys. I know this is a wacky environment on the road. I've done these before in traffic jams. I got to do it when I got to do it. But uh, this should get you going. We're, we're just anticipating June to be like May. And so we're going to extend, I'm sure, I'm just very, very confident, except for the hurricane factor, that we're going to extend into September real easily this year and even probably a little ways into October. Thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe, like, share this. I really love to expand my audience and I, I need your help. And if you're nothing else, go buy something. Thanks for watching, dudes and dudettes. And we'll see you next time on the Texas Fly Fishing Report brought to you by TexasFlyCast.com.